Hello, everyone. I'm Al Osborne, Senior Associate Dean and a Professor of Management in the Anderson School. I also happen to serve as Faculty Director of the Harold and Pauline Price Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation. Besides those duties, I'm privileged to be a member of the Board of Directors of the Technology Development Group. I must tell you that I'm thrilled to see so many members of the entrepreneurial ecosystem at UCLA participating in what is an exciting opportunity coming together for this campus-wide showcase. At UCLA Anderson, we have been teaching entrepreneurship for almost 50 years. In our curriculum, we introduce our students to the theories and the frameworks, as well as approaches to understanding the foundations of entrepreneurship. Our students get to apply these tools in case discussions or in experiential fieldwork. This process is part of enabling them to make the translation from what we know is theory to what can be done and have impact in practice. We see this approach, for example, in the capstone, the BCO or the business creation option, as we call it. We also see it in the NAP Venture Competition or the Muse Innovation Challenge. And we see it most clearly when students spend time and elect to be in the Anderson Venture Accelerator where they test their ideas in real time and see whether or not this translation has impact with some group of people whom we affectionately call customers. Today though, you will see some of the students and alums who have been through these experiences and taken part in these programs. The companies you will hear have developed innovative health-related business projects. These examples serve to show the kind of creativity and innovation, disruptive innovation, I might add, that our students and alumni are willing to tackle. And if they continue to be successful with these particular businesses, they will have strong influence in democratizing access to improved healthcare for all of us. Some folks look to these times as challenging, but I'm excited. We can all take pride in what these Bruin students and alums are trying to do for all of us. So I invite you to take a look at what these businesses are all about. Take a look. Hi everyone, my name is Lisa Schwartzman and I am the CEO and founder of FitPass. FitPass was created and developed in UCLA Anderson. We started working in the project in 2015 in NAP competition, then through business plan development class and finally through PCO. Our place to work was the Anderson Accelerator and we launched our first version of the product right before graduation in May 2016. I'm a graduate of the full-time MBA uh, 2016 class. We had amazing mentors and advisors that made the whole difference. Uh, one of them is Professor Jeff Scheinrock and Professor George Geis. And with their help, we made this dream possible. FitPass, what is FitPass? Well, it's a monthly membership with unlimited access to over 3,000 gyms, and fitness studios across Latin America. FitPass is the largest fitness aggregator in Latin America for the B2C market. We are actually in, currently in four countries, Mexico, Chile, Peru, and Colombia, and we have high expansion plans coming soon. Um, FitPass is a monthly membership, uh, uh, around, it's around 90 US dollars, that gives you unlimited access to classes in, more than 3,000 fitness studios and gyms across Latin America. Uh, so how does it work? The user pays FitPass a monthly membership and for every, uh, and with that membership, the user can take all of the classes that, that he wants. FitPass then pays a, a fixed uh, fee to the gym or studio per visit. Uh, the, the fitness industry in Latin America is high, highly fragmented and that's a big opportunity for us. It's a two-sided market. We have the fitness enthusiasts and the boutique fitness studios. We are the connection between these two markets. Uh, we're helping the boutique fitness studios solve their pains and grow their businesses. Uh, we've been doing it for a few years now and we really create value for them. Uh, we have partnered with the best brands in the industry. And, and we continually generate value to, the, to, our, to our studios. Uh, we have a fantastic team, but I want to tell you about my, my co-founder and myself, uh, Karen Gonzalez and, and, and me, Lisa. 
between us, we have over 20 years experience in the fitness industry. Uh, I'm an industrial engineer, I'm from Mexico City. I used to work for Bain and Company, Booz and Cup, PNG, uh, Core Power Yoga, Bikram Yoga. Um, and then I did my MBA at UCLA Anderson, where I started the project that is now a big thing and a reality. Karen, my co-founder, uh, she's um, she has a BA in industrial international business from the Tech de Monterrey in Mexico, and she owns a yoga studio since 2011. Uh, we know the ins and outs of a fitness studio, the pains, uh, and and that's that's our vision to help them grow to help them grow and, and to become better, right? We have a team of almost 40 people across all four countries. Uh, this is actually the key of our business. The, the team is really what makes the magic happen. Uh, we have a fantastic C-suite and management team and uh, we, we have selected each of them individually. We have a very rig rigorous recruiting um, process and I'm happy to happy to say that we have the best team in, that there is. Uh, our product, well, we, we, as I mentioned, we launched the first version in 2016, and then we rebranded and relaunched the whole thing in 2018 with new technology, logos, and brand image. You can see some of it in my, in my screen. We have a mobile app. We have a, a CRM or an admin for, for the studios and the gym so they can see reports and KPIs. We have a, a complete CRM system where they can manage their business. And of course, our digital marketing strategy to acquire users. Uh, there's more details here, but I'm gonna jump to the next section. Our marketing strategy has been key to the uh, growth of the business. Uh, we use blogs, mailing, social media, and ambassadors to create the brand and to grow and to grow awareness. We are continuously generating real value to our partner studios. Uh, we generate, for example, over 2,000 visits from FitPass to a studio. Uh, in the FitPass network, we have about half a million available classes per month, um, and we create uh, we generate uh, millions of reservations that we uh, take to these studios. This is additional revenue for the studios. This is exposure to a new customer base. Uh, they also collect reviews, performance reviews for the first time. And, and, and we help them improve their operations with our FitPass management tools and reporting systems. Uh, as I mentioned, FitPass is the market leader in the B2B segment for fitness aggregators in Latin America. The competition is clear, however, um, our, our, our value proposition is, is higher than, than the industry and than the competition. Uh, this is my contact information. You can find more info at feedpass.com uh, and I'm happy to share this info with everyone here. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Sungjun, CEO of Delta and Analytics. We are digitizing blood for the future of human health. These are the biomarkers used for our annual blood test. For the past 40 years, we have been using the same 32 biomarkers for routine checkups. Even with all the tests doctors can order, they are looking about 8,000 biomarkers. In total, leaving more than 4,000 biochemicals unexamined. The complete view of all types of molecules, known as multiomics, has been shown to improve diagnostic performance across a wide range of diseases. Many researchers and companies are sprinting toward to use this technology for early detection of disease and better patient outcome. However, it is a huge pain to conduct this cutting-edge research. You need to send multiple samples to different labs, and you have to have a bioinformatics expert to integrate the data at the risk of deserting the results. In total, this costs thousands of dollars. What Delta is providing is one-stop shop. We measure proteins, lipids, electrolytes, metabolites, drug, environment chemicals, and other small molecules for just $500 per sample, dramatically simplifying multiomic analysis. This spectrogram shows our analysis of human plasma. Each of these colored spec represent a unique molecule feature in blood. For example, zooming in more than 1,000 times to this specific mass and retention time, we find a signal for glucose. And over here, we find a one form of triglycerides. In total, we detect over thousands of di diverse biochemicals 
in a single assay. We have gone on to demonstrate an important proof of concept. Using machine learning, our data can be used to discover brand new biomarker signatures, getting smarter with everyone. Traditionally, diagnoses are based on just few biomarkers. Here, highlighted by these yellow boxes, are all of the analytes that we have found associated with aging, cardiovascular disease, inflammation, and dementia. Remember, these aren't separate assay. We can do all of these tests and far more in one single assay. This is the value that we are offering to our customers in rapidly growing multi tuning market. We are now generating six-figure revenue from small to Fortune 500 companies and collaborating with researchers to answer questions such as, can we diagnose congenital heart defects before birth? Can we replace steroid with natural non-toxic compounds? Can we diagnose cancers early? Austin invented this technology while he was doing his PhD at UCLA, where he demonstrated for the first time in history that we could analyze all ba major biochemicals in a single assay. I met Austin while I was working on my first venture for early detection of congenital heart defects. Within one year after we started our company together, we raised over half a million dollars for our pre-seed round, made our technology commercially available, and generated six-figure revenue. This was possible because of all our team members and amazing advisors. We are planning to raise our seed round soon. So if you are interested in learning more about how digitized blood will change the future of human health, please come find us. Thank you. Hi folks, my name is Samita Jonak and I'm with Noor Labs. We all wanted to tackle something really tough and transformational in medicine. That's why we picked lung cancer, because it's the number one cancer killer globally, taking almost 2 million lives every year. And the reason for that is because it goes undetected until it's too late, even impacting non-smokers. How do we change that? How do we actually get to precision medicine? It means we need to be part of your routine physical. So your doctor is going to order one more blood test. We're going to get that sample, we're gonna apply it to our proprietary nano chip, run it through our spectroscopy machine, layer on artificial intelligence, and now put a report that goes back to your physician to have that conversation for treatment options and discuss next steps. How are we fundamentally different from the competition? Let's talk about that a little bit. In a nutshell, it comes down to us looking at this very, very old problem with a fresh pair of eyes. But in a more detailed description would be that we are not next generation sequencing. We are label free, we are reagent free, and we're low resource. And then what that means is it gives us extremely high sensitivity since we're looking at living cells versus our competition, which is looking at dying cells. Now our competition has also gone to market with FDA approvals through their breakthrough device designation program. That is the same route that we would follow to market as well. And what's really spectacular about the FDA breakthrough device designation program is that you get four years of guaranteed Medicare coverage the day of approval. Okay, that sounds great, but where's the science? So the scientific validation is in academic peer-reviewed journals, as well as the fact that we've been awarded an NIH grant, we've applied for a National Cancer Institute grant, and we've got three patents pending. Let's talk about the market. Let's look at the left side, the US market. If we are just taking the high-risk smokers and just half of that population of high-risk smokers, we're talking like more than 30 packs, pack years, it's 4 million. Really busy slide here, but let's go back to that 4 million number. So if we're screening just half of that high-risk population, we're saving insurers $5.2 billion a year in late-stage treatment costs. That's pretty compelling. That's every year, $5.2 billion. This is our team, full complement of scientific and business advisors. 
and this is us. Now I hope I've answered for you the why now, why this, and why us. And this is me. Hi, my name is Pablo and I'm the CEO of Clear Club. We are a direct-to-consumer company that offers custom guards for teeth grinding at a fraction of the dentist price. And I'm a lifelong teeth grinder, so every night my jaw and my subconscious conspire against me to destroy my teeth. And to defend myself, I have been wearing a custom guard every night for the last 11 years. And while wearing my guard is amazing, paying $500 or $1,000 in a dental appointment to get a new one, it's not, it's just no bueno. So I started Clear Club to offer affordable and frictionless custom guards because one in three people all around the world are in need of a guard, but they just can't get one. And to date, we have helped close to 10,000 customers and we have been growing 45% every month for the last eight months. But we need to grow much faster if we want to help all of them to protect from this unconscious behavior.